Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the accuracy of this Federal uh, XM-193. Okay, so this is a pretty popular ammunition. Uh, part of the reason is because it has a name that is similar to the stuff that the military is using. Okay, now I don't know if the military is actually using this stuff. I don't know if there's different brands out there. I don't know um how much um you know you know what the difference is is going to be between different brands i just know that a lot of people uh take this ammunition uh, and use it and uh you know believing that this is very close to the stuff that the that the military uses okay now a lot of people will argue that the military uses crap that's a, that's a, a whole different argument but anyway that we're going to be discussing the accuracy of that ammunition today uh, now, to test it, I have two rifles here. They're both 18-inch barrels, and both of these rifles uh, have shot half MOA groups on uh, a number of occasions. Okay, so they, they shoot it. Uh, I mean, just to give you some stats, uh, about with both of these rifles, about 50% of the time, I will shoot one inch or better, right? I will shoot about one inch. Right? Let's say 50% of the time, I'll shoot one inch. Um, then 25% of the time, I will shoot a three-quarter inch group and then 25% uh, of the time I will shoot a half inch at 100 yards okay so you know because obviously I'm not going to be shooting my best every time I shoot now and that is specifically with 77 grain Sierra match kings, okay so so that is what I use to get the the, the half MOA groups um and uh and, and part of the reason why I feel that I can talk about the accuracy now okay of this ammunition is because you know, I have something to compare, right? I've done, I, I have talked, done videos in the past where I talk about the accuracy of this ammunition, uh, but I hadn't built up, I think, enough ammunition, um, enough experience with, uh, sh you know, shooting half MOA groups where it was kind of like a fair comparison. So it's like, okay, you know, if it was shooting, let's say, a three inch group, is it shooting a three inch group because my, my rifle was crappy or is it shooting a three inch group because I'm crappy, you know, I, I'm not shooting well. But now I have two rifles here that I have that I have shoot half inch groups many times. So I feel that I can tell you guys how accurate this rifle uh, is going to, uh, for how accurate this ammunition uh, is going to be, okay? So first I shot it with the Ruger MPR. Uh, the reason is because the, the Ruger MPR uh, on the barrel, it says 5.56 NATO. And this says, Five five six on it. Doesn't say two two three five five six. So I said, yeah, you know, maybe that'll match up nicely. And I said, if anything, maybe I'll get a more accurate group with that. Uh, so the, the way it turned out, uh, what I did, I did two groups of five. So total of ten rounds. Okay. So the total of ten rounds, I got a uh, total of four inches. Now I do believe I screwed that one up over here. So let's discount that one. And let's say I got three. Three and a quarter inches total. Okay, so that's what I'm averaging, uh, three and a quarter inch uh, groups. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's take a look at the other one. So then, and I really wasn't that impressed with that. You know, I'm like, okay, this is. I mean, sometimes I hit, I get that with Tula. Okay, uh, and I'll do a separate video on Tula when I'm shooting it in these rifles. But I, I wasn't too crazy about this. So I said, you know, let's try this ammunition now in this Palmetto. 223 wild again both of these rifles being uh 18 inches uh and actually it did better it did do better in the 223 wild so uh it did, again i did two groups of five but the total group came out over here three and a half uh but i did screw that one up I, I believe i pulled it so if we look at the other nine shots uh they're coming in at uh at two and a quarter uh two and three quarter two and three quarters so we're inside of three inches we're at two and three quarters now if we look at individually all right let's talk about the the best group right if we break it down because remember i did two two groups of five uh so the let's see if i look at just the circle ones over here i got two inches okay so i did get two inches there and then uh again i think i screwed that one up so if i look at these other four shots here that's also two inches so this has the so that XM193 uh, in this 223 Wild, right, that I know I've gotten a half MOA several times, um, has the uh, has the potential to, to bang out those those two inch groups uh, with with some regularity. Okay, you're gonna get you're gonna get it with some regularity. 
Um, most of your groups, especially if you're shooting fast, are going to come in, you know, just under three inches. Okay. Um, with the five, five, six, uh, breaking this down, like I said, it didn't it, with the Ruger MPR, which has the five, five, six barrel. Looking at the individual groups, like I said, I think I, I, I threw that one over there. So let's not call it a four inch group. Let's look at the remaining uh, four shots and say that's three inches. Then look, let's look at the next group that I did. Uh, that came in at three, three and a quarter. Um, so basically, your the way it worked out with these two rifles, with the, with the Ruger MPR, which has the 5.56 NATO barrel, okay? Uh, it looks like I'm pretty much coming in at about three inches. With the 223 Wild, okay, uh, it looks like I'm, I'm coming in at about two inches if I look at the small groups individually. As you do more shots, you know, the more shots you take, the more chance for error, it's going to open up a little bit. That's, that's you know, that's, that's normal, that's to be expected as you do more shots. Uh, but that's, that's what it's looking like now. So, um, and, and like I said, it was important for me to state that uh, these are two rifles, both 18 inches. On um, both of them, I have uh, I have hit the, the half inch groups uh, on on many occasions at this point uh, with the 70 specifically with the 77 grain uh, Sierra Match Kings. Okay, um, now again the, on a on a more regular basis, right? Let's say uh, you know most of my groups are going to come in like about 50 percent of my groups are going to come in at about one inch. Okay, so because I'm not always shooting my best, so I'm not always going to get those half inch groups. You know, I'm not even going to always get those three, but you know, the one inch groups I can, I can get pretty frequently. Okay. I'm going to get those, you know, um, let me say about 50% of the time and let's say 80% of the time I'm going to be within like an inch and a quarter. Okay. So 80% of the time I'm, I'm inside an inch and a quarter, um, with the 77 grain, uh, Sierra match. King. So, so for comparison's sake now, um, you know, this is what we're getting over here. So with the uh, with sh shooting it in the 5.56 barrel, we're getting about three inches. Shooting it with the the 2.23 wild, we're getting about two inches. So hope this information was was useful to you guys. Uh, and again, I didn't think that uh, I've done videos in the past, but I I, I mean I myself questioned um, like how how credible that information was because in the sense that. It's like okay, yeah, I didn't know if, if the, how good the rifle was, right? I mean, you know, you know, trying to test it out, you know, you know, if you don't know, if you if you don't have a rifle to test it with that that you know is like let's say shooting uh, near the top end, it's it's really it's a little hard to judge the ammunition. But given that I got two rifles here that shoot the half inch group, I, I think that's a, a good way to to measure where this ammunition comes in. So uh, I do plan to also test the green tips, and I also plan to test the Tula. Okay, so those are uh, two different type, two ammunitions that I have uh, plenty of, um, you know, and, and they're, very, they're very common, okay? People are either shooting Tula, they're shooting green tips, they're shooting one XM 183s. Those are among the most common ammunition that that, that people uh, have out there. Okay, so look, look, uh, you know, be on the lookout for those videos and we'll see how, how it does, how that ammunition does. Talk soon.